Hi, it's Asarl here, and today we're back once again with the Sith Empire in our Galaxy Divided mod, where we have jumped time ahead again, and once again at war with the Bright Alliance. We're looking to try and push them back, take a good bit of land in this sort of area, which we should be able to do with relative ease. I've already got 26% war score, so, you know, that's a very good situation to find ourselves in. I thought, you know, you maybe wouldn't want to sort of see you know, the whole, how this all goes. I mean, you've seen it many, many times before, so I'm sure you know what the sort of the situation is, if you like. Right, so we're going to jump over to here, I think. Yeah, and we're going to get them to those. Yeah, right. And you, what are you doing? You are doing that. Yep, yeah. right. So you are forcing your way through into there. What are you doing? You are going around that, and you are going to actually, I'm going to get used to jump down to Sullust, I think. Yep. Yeah. Let's jump use down to Sullust. Yep. Yeah. And what we'll do is, oh, what's going on over here? So that's a 26, 2.6 thousand strength fleet. We don't like the look of that. So we're going to take this fleet here. And rather than sending you to go down to there, you are going to be on protection duty. So you are going to jump down to Vandak. And you're going to take out that fleet. Our fleet, you can see here as well, are at sort of 100,000 near enough each. So they're absolutely just, you know, crushing the floor, which is always a nice one. And they really don't have too much in the way of rivals. So I think it's safe to say that we have certainly won this one. We are kind of just in, I suppose, almost the mopping up phase, really. But... Still, it has to be done. You know, in terms of our progress, we have 100, 208 of 220. In this war that we're currently doing, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six more planets. So two more wars like, well, this war and then another war like this, and we will hit the 120 that we need, which is, you know, an ideal situation to find ourselves in. Right, you are going to enter orbit around there actually no you're not you're going to move over to here we want to make sure that yep yeah, there we go right so you guys are going to continue on you're going to continue on there and you are attacking that one taking a little bit of a while to take vandalheim 3 but we are there we go we have taken it so there was never really too much doubt about that one but still and what are you? You're a construction, so you're not too much to worry about. We're going to embark all of you, though, and then send you guys up to here to land your armies there. I imagine by the time you get there, we should have that one sorted. And let's have a look. What have we got? We've got um, you. I don't like the look of this. Yeah, right. So you guys are going to definitely, you're going to cut over to there. And you are going to also cut over to there. You're going to first take out all these guys without any difficulty. So you're going to cut over to here and take out this force. You do outnumber them. So I should imagine they're going to try and run. Because they've got two fleets that are heading towards them. But you know what? That's their own fault. And you, are you just, you'd better just be entering orbit. Because that one isn't ready just yet. How are you going... You are going to catch them. Probably going to catch them. And you are definitely going to catch them. Yeah, I think we're going to catch their main fleet and going to be able to wipe it out. Yep, yeah, there we go. How much of the question is... Though? Right, so here we've got 200,000 strength fleet against theirs. We massively outnumber them in terms of hull points, probably in terms of damage output as well. Yep, yeah, we're massively... Beating them in terms of damage output. Lasers, uh, no explosive weapon damage dealt. No, we are beating them in pretty much everything in terms of damage, which is great. And I think it'll be a safe to say that we will crush that fleet. Once we've crushed that fleet, of course, you know, we do need to have a look at what else we can do. I think, uh, yeah, we're going to take out a large chunk of them and make them basically regret what they're doing. Are you, yep, you are ready to attack there. You are not quite over there yet, but when you get over there, you're going to land your armies straight away. You guys, how are you doing? You are taking out, I mean, probably 10, 20,000 strength fleet, I should, 10 or 20,000 from them. 
So yeah, I think it's safe to say that we've taken out a very large chunk of their forces, actually probably 30 or 40,000 strength from them, which is great. Right, and then you are going to jump over to here, take out that, and then you, which are also sat there, you are going to possibly jump down to, I think, this planet here. Yeah, let's have you jump down to there, and then we'll take down another planet, I think would be a good idea. How are we doing in terms of Sullust? Uh, Sullust is not something that we are targeting just yet, but... Oh, wait, no, Sluice Van. We aren't targeting that, but we are considering targeting it in the future. You're about to take down that planet, and we're already at 60% as well, war score. So, you know, in a really, really strong position, and I think it'll be safe to say that we'll be getting further up as well. Yep, there we go. You have got that secured. Brilliant. And where shall we go to? So you are going to cut across to here, actually, I think. Yep, you're going to cut across to there. And then, so we've got everybody moving. The question is, this fleet here, what are you going to do? We've got somebody going there. We've got somebody going there. Right. You, I think we need to pop you over to there. Yous are both moving. Yep. And what's happening up here? Are they trying to attack us? No, that is just a construction ship, so we've not got anything to worry about with that one. Here, how are things going? You're not, you haven't landed yet. I wish you would have, that would have been desirable, but I suppose, you know, we've got the time, we're not too worried. Hostile fleets. Right, so you are there, and we've got our fleet which is coming up to wipe them out from the autocracy of Dinab. Yep, the autocracy, not going to last. Not terribly surprising there. So what are we going to do? Are we going to, I think we're going to push these further into here. What are you saying? You're taking out a large chunk of that. Nice, very nice. So you are going to come across to here and take that out. And then the question is, you're still doing that. You are still traveling there. I don't think, actually, we're going to change around your plan. I think we're going to change your plan to head to here. Yep. We're going to get you to enter orbit around there. And then we're going to get this fleet here to move to attack this. 8,000, 8,500 from the Besbin Trade Guilds. That cannot be allowed. Not another planet secured? Yep, it is. Brilliant, right? So embark those guys. These guys here. Where will you go? So what have we got? We've got those guys jumping over there. Those guys moving in there. And you are down here, right? So you guys, what are they doing here? Nothing to worry about. So instead, what we're going to do is we are going to get... You guys to jump up to here. And then this fleet to also enter orbit around here. So I should imagine, I mean, that's going to potentially cause a little bit of an issue, but not too much, I should imagine. Just to be safe, though, we are going to keep track on how that's going. Situation. And you are going to, yep, you're going to blast your way through Phoenix and take them out without any risk. And what are we up to? We're up to 63%. We could, if we bombarded, get a little bit more. But, you know, we still, we want to take, uh, sort of, keep an eye out on how this is all going. So what are we at? We could get 42, so we would, they would be willing to give us three of the six planets that we want. But we want all six of them, and we're currently at minus 50 in terms of them accepting this. Right. Well, that's not allowed. What are you doing? You're still, you're still taking them out. You are moving to there. Right, and are you guys bombarding this yet? Yes, you are, but not quite enough to be of use. You are kind of just sat chilling around there. We're going to up our bombardment from 60 to... And the light ground bombardment to limited. Right. What are you doing? You are there. Not quite sure why you're there, but there you are. We could take out that, but we're not going to. Instead, we're going to have these guys 
jump down here. This looks like this is sort of a staging platform for them, I guess. So that's not something that we can allow. We're going to have to take that out because, you know, them having an effective staging platform is a potential issue. Not a massive issue, but still, you know, an issue of something that and something that we don't want to allow. Right. So how are we doing for this? Um, defending armies. Damage will be increased by 100%. So, yep, attack them. Use how you're doing. Use are finally nearly there. And our force is nearly there. So, right, what are they doing? They're currently, there we go. That's more like it in terms of damage that we want to be doing. And what are you doing? You are, yep, you're finally getting there. Brilliant. Right, and then we've got quite a few little plants here, which are just kind of, oh, right, yeah, you're taking that planet down as well. Brilliant. So once we've got that planet secured, that's 83% war score. Not massive, but still respectable, you know. You are going to jump over to there. Let's have a quick check back on the planets that we have got. Is there anything to worry about? Nothing as of yet. And you are bombarding that planet. This planet is not ready to go just yet. Come on. Right, what is it? Uh, the damage would be decreased by 75%. That's quite a large percentage, so not something that we want to do just yet. Right, you... I think we want you to go over there and land your armies over there. I think that'll be a good choice. And how are you doing? You're bombarding that planet. We're at, what are we at? 91%. Right, so we are pretty close to actually getting this so that this is a victory. And it's actually been a pretty simple victory, really. Um, we, they don't... Just quite simply, they don't have the forces to be able to resist us. Uh, in terms of actually another one, integration, we've got that, which is, well, less than sort of three and a half years. You will notice that there is a big chunk here, the Naboo area, which we have managed to integrate. And it looks like they are attempting to push us back. Solust, is there forces there? Nope. Right. What are you doing? You Are you attacking them yet? For some reason, we're down to 83. Why are we down to 83? We're all, we're all on pluses. Oh, and research. Plus 5% food. Hmm, not massive, but still. Oh. Um, administration efficiency, plus one core system. Definitely want that one. Right. And you're going, yep, to move to take there. You guys are looking like you're going to be taking that sooner rather than later. And what you're doing, you are wiping that place out, yep. And then you're going to be wiping that place out when we can actually get something to attack there. Right, so we need to lock some more planets down. We've got another couple of Liberty Wars, which I'm going to need to keep an eye out on those, but not too worried about them or anything. And there we go. Uh, oh, right, no, we don't have any forces to embark. Right, fair enough. So that's use. Right. What about if we went to Phoenix? Yep. I think what we'll do is we'll get you guys to go and land your armies there. That should be pretty much safe. Yep, it is. And then what will we do? We'll get you guys to jump over to here. And yep, we'll get you guys to go there and lock that one down. Let's just have a quick check. How's this doing? 300. We're not too worried about that one at present. How are you doing? You are nearly there. And you're going to take that down, I think. Yep. And that will get us up to 88%. Right, so we are taking... This bit's taking a little bit longer than what I expected. But, you know, not a massive amount. What's this? A hostile fleet. Is that Naboo? Hmm. Right, I know you were going to bombard them, but you need to jump over to here. I think as well you should be able to do that in, what, one, two jumps? Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one. Happy with that, and we'll get them to jump back and take those guys out. And look, there's another planet secured. Right, so the question is now, 
you guys, or when we can actually click on you, where do we want you to go? Uh, I think we want you to go to, yep, Javin. So you push into Javin, and then you are moving somewhere, and you are kind of just sat chilling. So where will we get you? You, actually, you will jump up to here. So land your armies there. They are going to a different one. Oh, no. You don't land your armies. Which one you? You're there. So do you need to go to here, maybe? Yes. Enter orbit around there. Actually, no. You know what? We'll take the risk. By the time you get there, that one should be down. So that should be safe. And what's happening here? Right, this could be a problem. Why are you there? I don't know. Right. So you need to jump over to here and take this down. So you're going to need to go and help them out because they're now stuck in a battle which they just can't beat. Rather annoyingly. And have you managed to scare them off, Naboo? Yeah, you have. Where are they? That's the question. Oh, Kingdom of Naboo. Definitely go there. Here would probably be good, but no, no, we're going to be good. We're not going to do that. We're actually we're going to have you guys not go there. Here, maybe? No. You know what? Get used to bombard that. I think that is the best option. We're not too worried about anything else. Possibly this? No, that's fine. I think we're in an okay position. So, yeah, we'll get you to move there and you to move there. Oh, you to move up to there. And then the question is, where is these guys? Two and... Yep. So you're going to lock that planet down. And then once that planet is locked down... Well, we've got 86. Right. Don't care too much about stations being under attack. We're just wanting to try and get these guys into a situation where we can actually figure out what the hell we're doing, to be perfectly honest. And... It's gotten a little bit chaotic. Trying to juggle all of these forces all at the same time has not been easy, but is doable. Right, and you are now going to definitely jump down to somewhere. You're going to jump down to Javin once you're done with that. Yep, you're done with that. So, oh, what's up here? Nothing to worry about. And what's here? Anything to worry about? Nothing really to worry about, but... You're going to jump back there, take that out just to be safe. What are we at? 93%. Right. And you are attacking a planet there. Yep. What are we at? 91%. Hmm. See, if you can take that down, then we will be in a good situation. Oh, sorry about this. One second. My apologies about that one. It's always the problem with... You know, doing these videos, sometimes you get calls right in the middle of them, which you really don't want to have happen, but can't be avoided sometimes there. So let's continue on with this war. Uh, we're moving our two fleets now. What I could do, actually, and what actually might be a better option to do, having a look at this, would be to literally just pop these two to go and uh, you. Let's have you jump down to there. And then you, where are you jumping down to? So you're jumping down there. So actually, if both of these do just go as quickly as they can, land up in Javin and just literally just picked a random one there with uh, Patabi Station. And then that'll be plus 15%. Yeah, so that'll actually hit the 100% mark that we need. So that'll take them out. And that's really, you know, exactly where we want to be. So you jumping over there, you are... What are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. Why are you not a Javin? Get down to there when I tell you to. And you are engaging another hostile fleet. So you're actually probably going to take out all of that before you're done. Never mind, because we're already at 100%. Although, actually, yeah. Who's engaged the hostile fleet? Where is it? The armies. Right. So, they're trying to attack us and wipe us out there. So, 
False demands. Yep, best possible outcome. Brilliant. Right, and what is this? This is the Balawian Star Republic. Right, so that's those two things. Now, now we can't bring these guys and uh, form a non-aggression pact yet. And what we'd like to do would be demand vassalization, but we must be at peace for that. So what we will do is we will find the Corellian Kingdom. Where are you? You are there. So what we're going to do is we're going to send these two to go to Trandosha along with which army? This army here. You're going to enter your orbit around there. And then what we'll do is the Rhodian Liberation League find their home planet. There they are. And this one's one that we seem to keep having to attack here constantly. And we'll send these two and then this army will actually know we'll send you to go and land and stop there. Right. So let's get these two wars done as quickly as possible. And then once we've got those two wars done, we can then get this, the Balawian, the Balawe? I don't know how to pronounce that. The Star Republic. And then we'll bring them under control as well. So that's a big chunk. Once we've got them under control, that will pop us up to 108. So 208 plus 6. So that's 114. So we are one war after this from actually getting that sorted. And we have in the next less than three years, actually three, two and a half years. No, just, just over two and a half years, two years and eight months. We have got the Nabooian United Planets under our control. Brilliant. And who is this? The autocracy of Danab we've seen through your charade. The so-called spiritualism of your government is nothing more than a devious attempt to control the minds and hearts of your people. Well, yeah. And why are you? So you and you should be moving up to there. And you, why are you not moving to... Where is it that they've gone? The Rodian League. So you should be moving over to here. Why you're not moving over there, I don't know. And then you guys are going to move and enter orbit around there as well. Right, so I think we've got these two under control and they are hiding inside of those. So, yep, that should be brilliant. So I'm going to leave it there for today. Do be sure to come back to me in the next episode, which will potentially be the last episode in this series, will be finally completed with a victory. Uh, do be sure to hit the subscribe button to see that down below. And I've been a Tharal here for EGen and I shall see you next time.